Hey everyone, Tom Trossi here, and let's finish up Gunstar Superheroes. We're playing for Red Story for the final time. Most likely. So, last time we were playing, we got through all the, the stages, got all the gems. The story mode's kind of there if you've seen my playthrough of Blue Story. There's a uh, interesting twist in that one, I won't spoil it. Go look it up on my YouTube page. The full uh, VOD is there. So... Let's see what happens with Red. What does her story entail? I applaud you, Gun Stars. I'm impressed that you were able to obtain all the gems. But I've acquired Yellow, and her fate is in my hands. Come to me, Gun Stars. I'll give you Yellow when I receive the treasure gems. Don't come, Gun Stars. Darn it. What are we going to do? You need to ask? We've got to rescue Yellow! So, yeah. Kind of like what I expected from the first game, where you can go rescue Yellow. But, I'm not gonna lie, this stage is kind of underwhelming. So, it's not nothing crazy, honestly. But that reminds me, am I... Okay, so I just gotta restock this one. Like I said, there's really nothing interesting going on with these dudes. I prefer the original game where you had a really intense soundtrack song for the stage. And there's a lot more dudes on on screen. And it's just... It's not there. And I get it. It's a GBA game. Game of Advance game. A.K.A. a Super Nintendo under the hood. Probably couldn't process too much. But I wish there was a little bit more to it. Also, I thought this was a sunset. No, I think that's the ship's core. I think we're in the battleship. Like, we're not quite outside the Empire. A.K.A. Fifth Moon. I thought we were, but I think we're just on a warship like the first game. And then we travel to the actual fifth moon, aka the Empire Satellite. But otherwise, background's pretty cool. But yeah, no, I'm just taking out dudes, taking out these little... Uh... I guess gun... Gun things here. Gun turrets. There we go. I don't know why they're on the floor. I don't know why I couldn't think of the name. But, yeah, that's a pretty dope background. Alright, let's just get through this now. I forgot about the Phantom. Alright now. Stay there and throw the treasure gems to me. Grr, here you go. They don't even throw them. Haha, -ha. now the Empire shall be invincible. And to thank you, I'll send you all to hell. What? That's not fair. Green, what are you doing here? Where are my men? You fool. I am about to absurd your control. What? How can you do this to me? Why? Does my real name help? It's Green Shadow Light. And Pink, Orange, and Black have agreed to follow me. No, it can't be! Oh no. Bye, Smash. Yellow, I am truly sorry. I gave the order to have you captured to trap Grey. So my revenge is complete. Now for Father's wish. Don't worry. You'll always be in my heart. Brother! Yellow, I'm glad you're, you're safe now. Sorry, but my brother's in trouble. He's going to fulfill our dad's wish to reawaken. What? We can't allow my brother to get to the main base. Get in, Gunstars. We'll use this ship to get get to him. Roger. Okay. 
So there is a bit of a difference between the story. So in Blue's story, both Green and Yellow do the betrayal. But in Red's version, it's just Green that does the betrayal. That's interesting. Probably because we don't have the context of the... of the journals. I still find it weird that... Uh, the gems start talking to Blue randomly when they've been talking to Red this whole time. As we've been acquiring them. So it's just very bizarre. Also, this spaceship... Uh, the spaceship stage is a bit weirder in this one. Because you can turn it in different directions. Like this! Like this! Oh god. Now, hang on. Get the orientation correct. There we go. It's very weird. But that so far seems to be the story differences, which is honestly on par with what I was expecting. But yeah, now we just gotta get through the warship and destroy the, the defenses. And now we go up. I mean, technically, we are in space, so orientation doesn't exactly matter. But it's very weird control-wise. Like, yeah, now I'm... Ow. I just feel a bit off. And you can't, like, go down. You, you have to, like... You, you're kind of, like, on rails, actually. That's the best way to describe it. You're pretty much on rails. Like, you can't move up or really... You can move down, but you can't move up. So you have to rotate the camera to attack. It's very weird. I don't like it. I just don't. I'll take the spaceship battle we had any day in the original. Because at least that reminds me of uh, Stellar Interface. But yeah, it's just two bosses. You're, you're essentially destroying uh, gunships and defenses. I wish I could destroy the, the guns that shoot out there, because it'd be helpful if I could. Because then I got you know, stop attacking, wait for them to get out of the way, and then I can go back up and start attacking. Then I gotta pause again. It's weird. Like, this pause of gameplay doesn't make any sense. I mean, I don't have to pause, because I can just take damage, but... Either way. And there goes green. Green escapes. Look, they're heading there. Let's go straight in. Let me get my spacesuit on. Then we'll take him. Which... What spacesuit? You're, you're still wearing the same thing. Like, if you had a helmet on, I'd be like, okay, I could buy it. But there, there's nothing about this that, says, that screams uh, you're in a spacesuit. Just weird. Also, kind of funny that Green doesn't escape using the Seven Force. I kind of thought Green would have escaped using the Seven Force. But doesn't in the, in the space. I don't know, it's just weird. Oh, now, and Saving Yellow soundtrack or song is playing here, which is weird. Not as you know, hype as the original one, but still got a good beat to it. And then, yeah, just like before, I could spin around, but let's not spin too much. It's, it's just too much on me. Now we're upside down. There we go. We're almost we're almost done with the stage. Even if I skip the head, you're not missing much. You're just taking out bombs, mechs, and asteroids. It's kind of like what happened with the first stage when we went for the first gem. So, nothing crazy. 
Then I'll get my health back anyways. Ow. Ow. Oh, there we go. Alright. We completed it. Alright, let's save and see what the story plays out to- Oh, wait, no. It's just gonna give me the stage, right? Yeah, so this is the next stage. Last stage. Big fight. The G-Arc. I guess. So yeah, let's see what the story says. We landed successfully, but the enemies keep on coming. Yellow and I will handle things here. Now go! Thanks. I am green. Shadow light. The Empire shall follow me. I am the son of the Empire's first governor. The Empire was created to reawaken humanity, but it was used by Grey after my father's death. His only objective was to rule all the moons. I hid myself in the Empire to eliminate this scourge. Now with the general gone, I claim that which is mine. Men, let us bring the Empire back on its original path. I shall use the Megalith to fulfill my father's wish. I shall awaken humanity and bring about my father's ideal world. Ablisno Mundandus. I guess. I don't, I'm still probably saying it wrong. Wow! Alright. It's kind of funny because Green was controlling them or talking to the crowd, but he's right there. Like, okay. Also, Pink and her goons are arrayed there at the boss stage. Just gotta watch it for the lasers. So, best way to handle Pink is physical attacks, honestly. That's what I learned. Oh, yeah. There we go. Pink. Man, I am terrible at grabbing hearts. Okay. Pink's dealt with. Now we gotta deal with orange. And the best way to deal with orange is physical attacks. A.K.A. the same strat we use against the mini soldier. Don't know why it works on orange as well, but it just does. Yeah. I just gotta get set up. Oh, that's not set up. Come on. Get down here. Okay. It's not working out as it intended. Don't worry, I'll get it. Just bear with me. Alright, even less health. Let's see what I can do against Orange. Here we go. Got it. Just gotta keep rapidly tapping A and we'll get through Orange real, real, real easily. Almost there. There we go. And I'll get a heart from Orange. Alright. Now to deal with Black. Black, kind of the same thing. You want to deal with physical and... Kind of the same thing with attacks. Yeah, let's re-bet on Black. Probably I'll do... Yeah, I'll probably start with the fire attack, because now the bridge path starts to appear. Because eventually what's going to happen is he'll start doing two other attacks. He's kind of predictable.
There we go. Oops. Oops. Should have waited. Kinda should have more health against screen, honestly. Let's let's try that again with better health. Man, the setup to get to here is annoying with pink and orange, but hey, here we are with black with 140 health. So I'm rebetting on black. Gotta pay attention. There we go. That time it did perfect. All right. Now deal with green. All right, green is interesting. So. He comes at you with himself, sort of, but it's really more more or less him using 7 Force. I found this on stream with playing blue as well. There is a weird dance move he does. I don't know if I can still do it with Machine Gun, but we'll see what happens. Yep. The strat is still there. This is the dance move he did on stream when I was playing against Blue. Don't know why it works. It just does. It stops him from transforming to Seven Force. For a moment. He eventually will transform. There we go. It's very weird. There we go. And if I can repeat the pattern... We'll get through this and get to gold and silver. It's very weird. So, it's kind of good that I do the stream first. Because it gives me an idea of what I'm dealing with. But I got his number. Also, fun fact, whenever he was transforming, you saw the green stars, which is pretty much what he used to do in the first game. So it's really cool. It's like a nice Easter egg. We are happy to see that you made it here. Oh, now the gems talk. But you must not stop the God of Ruin from awakening. What? What do you mean? The God of Ruin is the power of humanity. It is the only thing that can stop outside space. Okay, I don't know if it's a red herring. I always thought Outside Space was gold and silver. Maybe it's not. Maybe they're trying to refer to the Megalith. It's weird because, to me, Outside Space sounds like what was gold and silver to begin with. So, I don't know. It's weird. If destroyed, we will all lose. You must not destroy the God of Ruin. Like a child, the God of Ruin will destroy. But eventually, it will shut down. But, but that's not fair. What about all the people that will die? I, I don't know what to do. I can't handle this. Please, is there any, is there any other alternative? We see the compassion in your heart, but... Red, don't listen to them. They're lying to you. Believe in the Megalith. It will change the God of Ruin. Gold and Silver will bring about a new age of peace. You are all deceived, yet we can do nothing. Seal your fate. I shall reawaken gold and silver. Ugh. No! 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 
I am gold and silver, god of ruin, the destructor. What? Megalith! How have you deceived me? I feel despair, fear, immense hate. You are filled with negative emotions. How can you blame me if you cannot repress them? Your need to rely on me only shows your ineptitude. Green! Darn it! I am gold and silver. A mere silhouette mirage of you. Your despair, your fear, I will destroy. Use to destroy. Okay. Alright, so best strategy is using this this weapon combo because for some some reason they attack you but they don't attack you like I get hit by them but it doesn't it doesn't hurt me which is I don't understand why that that's the case like some some will some attacks will do damage to me but others won't which confuses me Yeah, and the damage fluctuation is weird, too. Also, Gold and Silver just stands there. He doesn't even attack you. Like, the first game, he literally would jump you first, and then the gems would do damage to you. This is also the first time the gems are actually physically seen besides cutscenes. Like, this, this is my point. If I were to throw him to gray, why wouldn't they physically sprite it to be thrown? Like, the first game. It's just weird. Artistically, it looks great. I just... Some of the choices just don't make sense to me. But yeah, see, I'm almost through it. Even though I should have taken, like, a lot more damage and... Been defeated a long time ago. There we go. I am gold and silver. A sun. Revenge. Wish. What? True identity. Earth. Destroy. 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 So it turned back into a robot. A mindless robot. On bent on destruction. Interesting. The god of ruin is going out of control. Are we safe? Did we win? No. The god of ruin is an alter ego of you. Its confusion means the destruction of Earth. What? It's going to destroy the Earth along with itself? Blue! Yellow! Can you hear me? We've got to go! Green! I'm sorry. We'll come back for you later. There goes flying. There it is! The God of Ruin! No, we can't make it in time. The Earth! There's another high energy reading. What is it? I'm sorry, everyone. That voice! We aren't ready yet to waken gold and silver. But as humans, we must never give up. Red, blue, yellow, take care of the future. Watch over gold and silver. Help the God of Ruin from its damn destiny. Guide it without the gems or the megalith. Seven Force! Brother! What is it? The four gems! Green, you are the first to pity the God of Ruin. Your concern has taught the God of Ruin some humanity. It has begun to evolve ever so slightly. And so, you have been saved by saving the God of Ruin. The God of Ruin is the image of humanity. Bear in mind, the Destructor will rise again. What the Destructor becomes depends on you. Huh. That's a game reflection right there. Humanity decides its fate. Farewell, Green, child of, child of Shadow Light. Brother! Green, you really are a Gunstar! Correction, 
We're all truly gun stars. I like this ending. This is a good ending. Gunstar superheroes. Yeah! And here we go, the end credits. Awesome. Okay. Now that I've completed both stories, here's my final thoughts as we go through the credits. Both stories were interesting. Hard mode was was a pain in the ass to get through, but it's interesting how they pivot from each other. So the original story literally plays as, as it does in the original game. You go ahead, save yellow, Ray steals the gems, he talks a big game, he reawakens gold and silver, and then he dies. And then you gotta fight gold and silver. That's a traditional story. But the fact that this game twists that story with Blue's playthrough, knowing the background of the journals of Shadow Light, and the gems talking, which they were sent to you in the first game, too. But it's interesting that Blue's story, because of the journals, Yellow learns the truth and follow Green's footsteps, so both of them reawaken gold and silver. Where in Red's story mode, the journals are never there, Red hears the gems being sentient, and on top of that, Green was the only one that betrayed Grey instead of it being Green and Yellow. So... But the difference, though, is that in Blue Story, everyone sacrifices themselves to stop gold and silver. But the gems save everyone. Where in this version, because of Red, Green was the only betrayer, and the gems saved Green, while the, the rest of the Gunstar heroes were just fine. So yeah, it's it's interesting. So Red's story mode is the, the better story mode in terms of, like, it being a happy ending. Where Blue's story mode was kind of more, um, pretty much the mor morbid sacrifice of everyone just to save humanity. It's weird. It's interesting. But that's it. Unless there's a super secret hard mode, which I doubt it. No, because this just goes back. Yeah. Which, whatever. No, we're not, we're not playing for this again. I'm just... Just showing off that I completed Red Story. And if we go to Blue Story, same thing. So, both both Gunstar Heroes characters are complete. And that ends Gunstar Super Heroes. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. I hope you enjoyed watching along. I will have a supercut version of Blue Story Mode that will be in this playlist later on, where I take the three streams... And I take the footage of Blue's playthrough and mesh it down to a nice, congestible video. Still probably going to be a, a long video. I'm, I'm imagining it's probably going to be about an hour long. Probably. Uh, but in the meantime, you can check out my Seven Force of Agony video. Where I took the best of what I did at the time to defeat Green, playing as Blue. Um, but I obviously got over Green at some point. So... That's in this playlist, or going to be in this playlist soon enough. So check that out. Check out the unedited VODs. I have the whole the whole story mode of Blue is on here. It's just unedited, so it's a lot of stream time. Uh, you don't have to watch the first stream all the way. Just watch the other two. So that way you get the full picture of what I did. And then, like I said, I have the Gunstar Heroes playlist that I did years ago. And then I got the... Nintendo Switch online stream I did of Gunstar Heroes. So, that's all the Gunstar Heroes content, I believe. I don't think I'm going to be doing any other Gunstar Heroes content for a while. If I do, it might be a replay through the original game on the Mega SG. So, just like the Analog Pocket, I'll use a hardware emulation to play that game. And, you know, maybe we'll play hard mode on that one, since I never beat the original game on hard mode or expert mode or whatever, whatever the difficulty would be called in that game. So maybe in the future, but 
otherwise, that's it for this. We'll resume 7 Days to Die content. Or maybe a different game. I'm thinking it's going to be 7 Days to Die again. Just get through another week and then we'll see how we feel about other games. And then, like I said, I'll be streaming other games again too as well. So, thanks guys for watching. Sorry it was a long outro. Um, see me Saturday streaming on twitch.tv slash Tom Trust with the eye. And check out more content on my channel. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. And hey, thanks for subscribing if you did. So, bye-bye for now.